As we head into this holiday weekend that celebrates the life of Martin Luther King, we're reminded of something that he once said. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Steve Hartman found an answer on the road. Being a custodian here at Trinity High School in Euless, Texas, isn't exactly the most important job in America. But don't tell that. You all do that trash? To the custodian. If I clean a toilet and you sit on that toilet, you can rest assured that's the cleanest toilet you will ever sit on. I'll take your word for that. Yeah. <laughs> Charles Clark takes his job that seriously. But his greatest asset has nothing to do with his cleaning. It's his counseling. We can sit on this rock right here. Not long after he started at Trinity 25 years ago, Charles Clark began pulling kids aside. Y'all anxious for to find out who our new coach gonna be? Kids he thought might be falling through the cracks. I'm not asking you to be a road scholar. Kids he thought might need a little mentoring. Before you get in trouble, you're gonna call me, right? Kids like 17-year-old right. Jesse Walewa. All right then. Mr. Clark's been looking out for me ever since I've been here. I can tell Mr. Clark anything. I know he's gonna give me his honest opinion. He's very wise. Very loving. I'm going to talk to you. They have never had a man tell them they love them before. Once they trust you and they know you love them, you can get them to buy into what you're selling. What does the school counselor think of you? Oh, they get most of my clients come from the counselors. <laughs> really? That's very true. Peggy McIntyre is a clinical counselor at Trinity with a master's in social work. But she says Charles has a better way with certain kids. He's worked with a lot of our students here who ended up going to college, who ended up doing really well. So he gets results. He gets results. He sure does. He sure does. Now, you don't want to wait till your senior year. By all accounts, this custodian has helped dozens of kids turn their lives around. Not because it was his job, but because it needed to be done. Proud of you as a young man. And there's a lesson in there for anyone who feels trapped by their title. Hey, now, how you doing? You gonna tell me I don't have a good life? This custodial thing is working good for me. <laughs> Steve Hartman, on the road in Euless, Texas. I got a great life. <laughs> we can all use good advice. That is the CBS Evening News. Scott will be back Monday. I'm Charlie Rose. I'll see you next week on CBS This Morning. Good night.